In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christ is born. I don't get to say that much longer, so we enjoy it while we can. Uh, this Sunday, the Sunday before Theophany, uh, marks for us in some ways a midpoint between the great feasts of the Nativity and Theophany. Feasts that in the early centuries of the Church were celebrated together as one feast. Uh, as we recognize the incarnation of God coming in the flesh for us and for our salvation. And this morning we hear the Gospel as it begins according to St. Mark. Very different than what we hear from Matthew and Luke, who give us the story of the Nativity. But today and this morning, St. Mark begins his Gospel with John the Baptizer. In the wilderness, preparing the way of the Lord, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Preparing the way for the one who would come after him, the thong of whose sandal he was not worthy to untie. We hear that. We also heard this morning St. Paul's letter to Timothy, the last, in the, final, the end of his letter, the second letter to Timothy, as he speaks to him of having run the good race, having fought the good fight. And so we have with us this morning a beginning and an end. And really it is quite fitting that we have that, as we have just celebrated in our secular world the new year. As we just remembered the beginning and the end, the end of 2014, the beginning of 2015, as we reminded of our, ourselves of all those things that we had done or hadn't done and the things that we wanted to do and will do in this coming year, or maybe won't do. So I wonder, what are these resolutions that we made? Did any of you make New Year's resolutions this year? No. Some of you did, right? Some of you didn't. Maybe those of you who didn't don't because you think, well, I didn't follow them anyway, so I'm not going to do it again, right? Some of us did, though. What were some of the, any, any New Year's resolutions that were made up there? Yes. John, what did you make? Having been sick for the last month, I said I'm going to change my priorities and really understand what's important in life. So changing priorities, understanding what's important in life, important things, right? Any other New Year's resolutions out there? None that want to be shared. That's yeah. Well, that's a, that's a good one. Sometimes it's maybe a little bit more um, mundane, perhaps we could say, or or whatnot. Lots of times we think of things like maybe it's getting back onto an exercise schedule. It's one of mine, right? Having broken my foot, having changed jobs, having moved down here, looking for new, you know, trying to get back uh, back into a schedule. Or maybe it's it's changing the way that we interact with our spouses or with our children. Um, all these things that we think of how we want to make our life right. How we want to better where we were, to where we are from where we were. And this morning, as we hear the Gospel according to St. Mark, and as we listen to those words of John the Baptist and his mission, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, it should help us focus more along what John focused with his resolution. Maybe less on what I focused with mine. Which is a change in the way we live. A change in the way we live to turn us to focus on the right things. To focus not just on losing weight or running more or whatever else. And not even just to focus maybe on spending more time with our kids or grandkids or spouses, but to focus our lives on Christ. To focus our lives to be a life of faith. That with St. Paul, we too might say at the end of time, our time on earth, that we have fought the good fight. That we have run the race. And so these two readings that we had this morning, a beginning and an end, 
Yet they remind us that each day for us is to be a beginning and an end. Each day we are to arise to refocus our lives. Not just on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day as we make those resolutions, but each and every day. That we are to arise and to repent. To turn ourselves around. To focus and to face the right way. And so, we do that, yes, on New Year's Day and New Year's Eve, and we do that now as we prepare ourselves for the Theophany, for the revelation of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But we do so every day. As we wake up in the morning, and as we make that sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. As we remember our baptisms, the baptism that was fulfilled in Christ, and his baptism. As John the baptizer says, I come preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, but he who will come after me, John baptized with water, he who will come after him will baptize with the Holy Spirit. That is the baptisms in which we have been baptized. As we have been clothed with the garment of Christ, as we become temples of God, and so each day for us is a day of New Year's resolutions. A day that we rise <coughs> to face once again the right way. To turn ourselves to God. That we might run this race that we have been given. A race that we might run that course in faith, in the faith that has been given to us in our baptisms, the faith that is continued in us, in the Holy Spirit, that we might indeed with Paul fight that good fight. And so we remember that this morning, but each morning, and each evening, and every time we make the sign of the cross, that we might turn again to God. That we might put those 2014 failures behind us, but again arise to a new day. That we might be transformed into the very likeness of Christ, walking in His ways all the days of our life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.